how do you rotate in SolidWorks? If I click and hold down on the middle button of my mouse, okay, which is the wheel on most uh, mice now, uh, it will rotate the assembly or a part, either or. Just click and hold down on the middle button, that'll rotate it. A couple nice little tricks. If I click on a face with the wheel, right, the wheel acts as a button as well. So if I click on the face with the wheel and now click and drag, it's actually rotating about that face in SOLIDWORKS. Okay. Uh, I can do the same thing with an edge. Grab an edge, and now I can rotate that part about an edge. Okay. The rotate icon, if you want to use an icon, is found under View, Modify, there's Rotate. Uh, there's another setting in here uh, which can be turned on for parts and assemblies. It's called Rotate About the Screen scene floor, so it'll basically rotate about the floor of this assembly, okay, so it kind of changes the behavior of the rotate icon when we check rotate about the scene floor. So that's a, another little hidden setting that we have that can make presentations look, uh, you know, crisp and clear, is to tell it to rotate about the scene floor. It's a great, great presentation tool if you're uh, showing your design to to vendors or customers. Okay. Um, now, the other thing with rotate, this isn't really the rotate command, but I like to show it as well. If I have a second part in the assembly, right, if I click and drag on that part with the left mouse icon, I can move that part around in my assembly. If I click and hold down on that with the right mouse button, I can now actually rotate that part independently of the rest of the components in my assembly. Okay. So that's another neat uh, rotate command. Not not specifically a rotate, but uh, just another uh, neat command to know how to use. How do I rotate text in SolidWorks? Well, let's take a look at that. There's two different uh, things we can look at. Right? We can have text on a sketch. So if I go ahead and create a sketch here, and let's just put this on, say, a line or an arc. Let me add a line or an arc here. Yeah. And then it's under Tools, Sketch Entities, Text. I can get Sketch Text. Enter the text that I want sketched. And now I can select the line that I want to put this on, and I'm actually going to fit it, uh, center it, and fit it across the line. Now, I can actually have this text uh, kind of swapped, mirrored, right? So this is one uh, one item people are usually looking for when they're asking to rotate text. I can, I can kind of mirror this if I want to create a positive or a negative. And I can also have this occur on the top or bottom of that sketch line, okay? If I want this on an arc, I get the same commands, right? I can mirror that to go forward and backward on the line with the sketch toolbar. Okay. Um, or if I don't select a line here, I can actually rotate any of this text with this rotate icon here. And this little number here is the angle. So if I want that, say, 60. Okay. I can, oh, don't want to hit enter, okay? I can rotate it 60 degrees and then increase my spacing if I need more spacing between the letters. So when creating sketch text, uh, that's a nice convenient way to rotate the sketch text uh, inside of SolidWorks. Okay? Now, if we're in a drawing, yeah, so let's go ahead and open up uh, my drawing here. And I have a note inside of my drawing. So zoom in, throw a note on here. Let's see. And the rotation for a text in a note is found in the note property manager. Okay, and it's just this rotation angle here. Okay. And I'm gonna enter in whatever value I want. 
say 90 degrees there, and I can drag and drop this. If I need to rotate each individual letter, I can just create separate notes there. Just a quick and convenient way to rotate uh, text on a drawing.